beautiful. Now, I was talking to the beautiful Lindsay, your mom. Yeah. This is pretty much like the troublemakers in the, in the in the sailing club decided to get together and form a union, so you could try to force out the older people. Is that the is that the main plan or? Um, yeah. <laughs> well, kind well no. of. No. That's it. You were saying it was last winter. This coming to your mind. And what were yeah. you thinking then uh, as a, a plan? As a plan, it was just to give the juniors more of a voice in the club because we did have an older guy, an older member on the committee as a junior representative, but. It wasn't like it wasn't coming back to the juniors. We so he was a bit crap at his job then. Okay, that's that's good to know. Well, I'll get his name. We'll put it up there. <laughs> so, um, no, we didn't have anything really for the juniors to say or anything. Like they didn't have a real like they had an involvement, but they didn't have a right. say in whatever was going on. So a genius idea, and it just seems like bizarre it hadn't happened before, that you just yeah. get together and, and then you can obviously make plans of your own and present them and, and work with... Because uh, you do have, I think there's a representation, an adult representation and, a, and an officer yeah. kind of would, would liaise. Yeah. Has it been easy or has it been, kind of, because it's new, has it been kind of a, a trial and error thing of figuring out what, how do we do this? Yeah, it's been... I suppose the easiest part is once they get started. Once it gets started, it was all a bit hectic trying to put it together but now it's gotten easier we've all been able to see how much the change is good and how like important it is for us that we have a voice and would you feel Robin there's certain things you'd love to achieve here or is it just a natural progression of, of just being able to you know have a voice as, as we said and, and just being able to be involved in, in the choices that are made that, that reflect I don't know if there were certain things in when you heard about this that you thought this is what it's for this is what we should do yeah because like you're able to before there wasn't really much junior kind of junior only events it kind of just all be the adults right so like now there's like pizzas and stuff <laughs> and fun stuff like yeah, fun, fun that works yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So the sailing club itself, it's got such a long history. I mean, I don't know whether you, growing up, it was a family tradition for both of you, whether there were certain things that, that, that sort of made you want to join. Was it family or was it, I don't know if it was just that you liked sailing? For me, it was, I love sailing and I kind of brought my whole family in with me. <laughs> kind of took them all down with me. Right. But it's just, it's come, become such a big part of our lives, all of us, it's just, don't know what we'd do without it. And so you would have been quite young then when you got the bug. I don't know what that came from. Were you out in boats and just loved it? Or? Yeah, I did a Karen Amaro when I was seven and I haven't stopped since. Ah. And what, it was, would it be similar for you? or? Um, I started saying kill boats and then I kind of liked that, but then I wanted to know more about it. Right. And I started doing like, the level one. I always think there's a, 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 a an idea in Greystones because there's a, there are you know all sorts of, uh, of, of 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 people wealthy and non wealthy and all that. There's a sense that this is slightly for the wealthy, but I, I don't get that impression that it is really open to anybody. You don't need to actually own a big yacht to, to join the club. No, not at all. That's not anything. And I think that what we're trying to achieve with the committee is that we we try and get everyone involved as much as we can get all the little kids involved everyone and has it been i don't know a, a kind of progress already or, or is it it's does it feel like it's early days in regard to the junior committee that there's a lot of work to be done i mean i, I don't know how it's been uh, for you guys i think personally it's been running really well and our events that we've done so far have been really successful so i'm hoping we can just build from them we should say, of course, because you're young, beautiful people that you do nice things. And part of the, the, the club kind of membership is that every Sunday before you go out sailing, you have an hour of cleaning up. Yep. I'm amazed. The first time you did this, you got 15 bags of rubbish. Yeah. That's kind of shocking, isn't it? I know that we have a litter problem yeah. and people talk about it a lot, but that must have surprised you, 15 bags. It was a lot. It was. And it was, it was great to see everyone so into doing it as well. All the kids were really enthusiastic and it just made it feel so worth it. And there is also, Robin, I know the stream of consciousness that so you're also going to work on that, the fish that are down by the yeah. South Beach, that's another project. And Yeah, yeah. we had them uh, not last, not this, no, not last Sunday, before the week last. before last. We had everyone clean up, we made it a bit of a race, you know, as fast as you could, the team to clean the most fish. And we, we should be putting them back up this week, this weekend, and hopefully it should be great.
Now I know that um, just uh, myself personally now I've always had a little bit of difficulty getting communications with the sailing club crowd because they tend to sort of, you know, they, they live in a certain bubble of, of this is what they do and they love doing it and they have fun. So I'm hoping now you'll be a generation who will be open to actually let us know what's, what, what's going on. And, you know, because I just feel that there's a, there is that little bit of a, and I think it's true of a lot of clubs around Greystones that people just naturally kind of, kind of cocoon themselves and they love this world and but it, but it does seem as i said earlier it does seem to be more open as time goes on that places like this are accessible to everybody and it's not an us and them thing and greystones has that reputation of, of the haves and the have yachts so there's a kind of a bit of that so i'm guessing you guys will want to sort of break that barrier down a little bit yeah 100%. yeah okay and uh, so if people want to join up I, I, i'll put in a contact thing here i don't know how how it is now at the moment are you uh, is the club very full is it is it is it open to members every year how does it work not 100 percent sure what okay happens. well i'm sure the setting club itself kind of has a policy of just you know they can take in so many members and in a way yeah. the more the merrier but they yeah. will uh, okay coolie bully well that, that's great and, and well done we'll, we'll we'll catch up with you again one of these sundays just to see that you genuinely are picking up rubbish just yeah. so you know i want to make sure that this is true that is not just a little bit of a spin and uh, but also we'll just let uh, talking to your mom lindsay and others we'll, we'll kind of let people know what you're up to and certainly with the stream of consciousness too we'll get that out there yeah that'd be great so well done thank you, <laughs> thank you. cheers